Okay. Um, I mean, I know there are places even right here in Utah that are operating uh -huh. like large locations. <laughs> yes, and there, there certainly are. Full of loot yeah. Well, we won't name names, um, but I will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I can sort of talk about that um, again. I like I, how are they still in business? I don't get like what. It's really, really difficult to enforce, um, you know, your copyright, or the, you know, to enforce. I mean, a lot of uh, we're talking about anime here, which is produced in Japan. So the the real copyright holders are in Japan, and um, are they going to spend the money to? Um, I mean, America and Japan, they both they're both countries that recognize international copyrights. But so, uh, like an anim animation studio in Japan, are they going to spend the money to? Um, Chase so after some in store in Utah, Salt Lake City, Utah. Yeah. Um, and then companies like uh, Funimation, I mean, they get the rights, but, um, and, and so often they're able to go after companies. Um, they, they will, well, with bad subs, uh, Funimation is notorious for sending out. Um, Cease and desist letters. They do, and a lot of fan subbers are like, oh, we, we will stop fan subbing this. But if they don't, uh, the next step is for Funimation to. I suppose like sue that you know take it to the next step. I'm legal action. I'm not that knowledgeable in that area, but that I know that costs a great deal of money. They have to weigh, um, you know, the, the cost against the benefit. So that's that's why some of these people are bringing these outfits and not being penalized for it. Uh, yeah, you. Yeah, I just please let you conscious here because I found out some problem. You know, big you know, big problem with bootlegs is not just, you know, where your money is not going, is where your money is going. Uh, oftentimes these, you know, the, the Hong Kong bootlegs are being ran by the triad, you know, and <laughs> I found that they found out, I said they, they, they did find out that this is just as profitable as prostitution and heroin. Can yeah. someone so, open the door? If you buy bootleg DVDs, you are supporting the triad people. Yes. So, uh, yeah. You don't want to get involved in that, do you? <laughs> and oftentimes they're made in situations where there's slave labor, maybe you know, no toxic chemicals. Yeah. I mean I mean you gotta understand these guys they don't they, they're not giving you a bargain. They don't care about you. They just want to make a fast buck and they don't care about the uh, the producers in Japan or their or their warm workers. They're just you know yeah. There's well, comes. I mean, the focus of this panel really isn't on uh, right. whether bootlegs are right or wrong. I don't right. want to preach to anyone. <laughs> like, if you buy um, counterfeit goods and it doesn't bother you, I, I don't care. Um, yeah, like the reason if, we bought if this you, is because it's. I mean, find when it. I was a when right. I was a newbie, um, I bought some anime CDs at this uh, store in the mall, and I asked the lady. Is, is this legitimate? And she said yes, and I got home and I got on the internet and I found out that they weren't legitimate and I felt kind of betrayed. I, and so that, that's my motivation behind this panel. And sometimes you, want, you just right. don't know. Right. Yeah. Like with this, you know, a lot of people have looked at it and they couldn't it. tell. I couldn't tell. I thought it was a legitimate Region 2 disc mm -hmm. until he told me otherwise. Right. Uh, and by the way, the name of this is Angel's Egg. Oh. Yeah. It's really artsy. And then you know, also like that there's differences, like th this is Howl's Moving Castle Region 2. We bought it in the box set <laughs> that came with Ghibli's. Yeah, um, I saw that in Disney put that out in theaters, and I, I saw it, I'm like, oh, I want it on DVD now, and I, I couldn't wait for the Disney release, so I imported it early, but then the, it came out on uh, Disney put it out on DVD, and I bought it again, um, yeah, the legit so that I can lend a copy out to my uh, family members. So I own that in, in both regions. Yeah. Um, I guess we should talk about. I mean, we've been talking about bootlegs, but I want to change the focus to over to that. Um, what are signs? Like, how do you tell if something might be a bootleg? Uh, yeah, a lot of the time, a bootleg will say on the back of region three. Or, or someone gets a, a crappy Photoshop job, or the yeah. photocopy job. Right. Crummy photocopy jobs. Well, if, if you're not standard. shopping online, if you're at a store um, and you can pick it up and look at it, yeah, often they'll it's have a lot terrible easier printing. To um, and sometimes they have it, like, they smell like burnt plastic. 
yeah, but yeah. the stink odor, um, just it, it's poorly weird. made stuff. Um, that's, that's the thing. Sometimes they're great, though. Like, oh, yeah, sometimes right. they will have the Funimation dub because the bootleggers copied the Funimation disc. It's, it's an exact copy. I mean, I think that stuff has been like, it's supposed to be like the collector set and folds out all night, something like that. And then mm -hmm. I have one of those cataloging programs where you scan like the barcode and it comes up as like bunch of steel or something, you know? It's like, oh, oh that's <laughs> I have to be very exact. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I have the key yeah. cat scanner that scans barcodes. Right, exactly. Um, and yeah, I, I've like I've scanned some discs that I had <laughs> that I didn't know were bootlegs that I'd like bought at a store. It was it was a store in the mall. It's no longer exists. But and, and you know it was some of my first times. It was Suncoast. You know they no longer exist. I can say their name, but they didn't. I, I took them back to the store after I told them. You know I'm like, look, these aren't legitimate, and they're like, really. And then they, they, they ran it through their program and they're like, I wonder how this got by us. And what's even weirder is Suncoast is owned by Best Buy. Well, now, was it then? Uh, yeah, it's always been owned by Best Buy. Really? Best Buy is their parent company. Well, I thought it was Media Place parent company that owns Suncoast. That too, Media Play. Best Buy owns Media Play as well. <laughs> I, I, I know because yeah. I know people that work for all those companies. I understand. I'm I bought something before that was just like the DVD and then you open it up and there's like the discs are actually in those like paper sleeves you get when you buy like software or something sometimes. Oh, yeah. And, like, yeah, it looks great. Yeah. You're like, oh, you get it home, you pop it open, and there's like four CDs in the uh, case just in paper uh, sleeves. I'm like, great. Yeah. Uh, I went to the. Well, on, on the other hand, um, legitimate Region 1 companies, in order to compete with uh, the, the low cost and the, you know, um, with, with the bootleggers, they've employed similar, you know, um, tactics. Yeah. Um, some of those slim cases will, will have seven discs and it's really like the size of a normal DVD case of like seven discs. And yeah, just or, 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 like, DVDs or like a brick that's like three DVD cases wide yeah. and it has three, six, 12 discs. And you open it, and there's the thing in the center it keeps falling out. It doesn't stay together; like it'll break apart. That's happening with some of our box sets. Yeah. So I mean, one of the red flags was if it seemed too good to be true, probably as it's no longer the case. And one of the it was also anime companies didn't really package their um, their product that way, but now they do. Um, so the lines have been blurred a little bit. Yeah. No. Generally, if you have questions about it, if it's questionable, don't buy mm -hmm. it. Well, if you see something at a like a store, at, or like a store or a convention, and you're like, I'm not sure if this is legitimate. You can go to a website like Right Stuff or Amazon and see if they are carrying that title. Look at the cover art. Um, although sometimes cover art will change on a DVD yeah. over time. Um, but yeah, that's, like that's one way. That's, that's something that I've done. Um, the, the new release of Howl's Moving Castle, um, the Ghibli Collector's Edition that's coming out, because Disney's putting out Studio Ghibli Collector's Edition soon, mm. they all have different covers than what they originally had when released in America. And they have a different cover than what's released in Japan. 